Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you are well. Thank you so much for tuning into this video again today. Um, so today I'm talking about uh, my mixtape. As you guys know, I'm really, really, really determined to get a mixtape out for you guys. I've been making music for a long time. A lot of it I've made at home using my laptop and my, my kit. And uh, it's one of those things in time with a lot of the things I've said. Sometimes you just think to yourself, how am I going to do this? And who, how am I going to find the money to pay someone to do this? Blah, blah, blah. But the truth with most things in life is if you're extremely determined to do anything, there is a possibility you can do it. But you have to have that determination and that want. So um, this is actually day two of my mixtape uh, progress. But day one, I didn't actually do what I planned to do. I was shouldn't make excuses but I was extremely tired the Sunday I did a three and a half hour long live stream on my Facebook it was my first day off then the Monday I decided to do some gardening because it was bugging me so I had to get that done um, but I actually did start out I don't know if you can see but I've made it's not really important a seven day plan in my diary and again the reason why it's good to make plans is that you're actually held accountable to something so yes I didn't do day one but day two I've made a start in terms of even making this video and you might find that your day just rolls and you just start to build momentum. Sometimes you just have to make that start. So I tried to give myself a few targets. I've never done this before. It is a really, it's not a scary thing, but it's one of those things that seems like such a massive job. And um, that's why you have to break it down sometimes. So in here, I've got day one, work out the songs and create an intro. Um, so I've already got some songs. And what I can touch upon briefly as well is I did do some research because there's different ways of releasing music collectively. So I've never actually released an album or a mixtape or an EP or anything. So the first thing I had to do was sort of work out what it is I'm releasing. Am I releasing an album? Is it an EP? Is it an LP? Is it a mixtape? What's an EP? What's an LP? What are the differences? So the reason why I chose a mixtape in the end is from the research I've done, it said that mixtapes are basically songs that you've kind of put together. There's no real pattern. It's just sort of a collection of, of music that you have done. Whereas an album is more structured and you get sort of a sense or a feel from an album. So the reason I've gone with a mixtape is a lot of these songs that are going to go on the mixtape are songs that I produced here at home. And you've got Afro beats, you've got a bit of R&B, you've got a little bit of dance. There's, there's a mixture of things. And I felt a mixtape would be more appropriate in this sense. Um, it almost is more of like a small cat catalogue of the things that, or some of the music I've made. So it gives you a taste of a bit of everything. And we'll probably continue with this mixtape idea for a little while until we start to see a trend in what you guys are really enjoying, what I'm really enjoying. And that blend of what I like and what you like together will be phenomenal for all of us. So this is how I've done it. On day one, I've got songs and intro. On day two, I've got artwork and video. On day three, I've got mixed songs and upload. Day four, I've got songs for the loop. So I want to actually learn my songs on the guitar and piano so I can perform them live. Um, not just with a backing track. Day five, I've got rehearsed. Day six, I've got rehearsed and sort of share some ideas with you guys. And day seven, I've got a live show and release. Will it happen this way? I don't know. But the most important thing is it's down on paper and I have started the process. So even if it takes twice as long, by the end of the two weeks, I will have a product. If I don't do this, every day will just come and then nothing will happen. So um, I'll keep you guys posted in how it, it goes. Um, it is going to be a journey and then obviously when the whole thing comes out you can hopefully see the process and the progress that I've made. So today because I've already got the songs what I actually want to do is listen to each song and then sort of work on the mix a bit so maybe do a few YouTube watch a few YouTube videos on how to mix and stuff like that because I'm not a very good engineer it's not something I enjoy doing I love creating but obviously we're in lockdown and um it's a difficult situation sometimes to go out and get people to do that stuff for you but it's a skill that I can learn and develop so it's not a waste of time um, so I'll be mixing and mastering the tracks and that will basically be the process of making each sound uh, each song sound as good as it possibly can and then mastering it so that when you guys download it everything sounds at the same level so you don't listen to one song and it's really quiet and then put another one on and all of a sudden the levels are up so it's volume control so once I've done that, that will be a big chunk. I also want to get an intro done, like a promotional video, so it can talk a bit about what the mixtape is. And yeah, these are a lot of things that maybe 
a lot of people may want to message me and say I need your help in releasing a mixtape, how do I do it? But as, as you guys see, I've never done this before. It's new to me and the only way you can learn sometimes is by making a start and having a go. We'll put this mixtape out and then maybe by the time I'm working on the second mixtape or EP, I would have had more experience from the first one and therefore the product should be better. So the theme of this EP will be songs from home. Um, the reason why I've gone with that is because obviously where most of the world is in lockdown and we can't go out and we can't interact with each other like we normally would, I think it would be quite cool to put out music that I have made myself in my room um, because then it might encourage some other people who have always wanted, wanted to make music to just make a start at home, just mess around, play a few keys, make a few beats. Um, Music is, is art, it, it, it's it's a creative thing, so not everyone will like the art that you do, but some people will love it, and you all, well, we all have to start somewhere, so I'll try and give you guys more sort of updated uh, videos if I can, while I'm going through the mixing process, I'll try and record that and give you guys a bit of a, a talk through it. If not, it's something that I may be able to prepare better for the second mixtape, once I know these processes. Um, so hopefully it will sound good for you guys. I'm determined to at least get the songs ready today because in, in some ways artwork and promo, as much as it's important, if the quality of the song isn't good, the, the artwork can be fantastic, but you won't be able to get that message across that you want to get. So um, the artwork shouldn't be too much of a problem, but we want to get the music sounding right for you guys because that's that's fundamentally what I want to put across to you guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped. Um, and of course, I think you'll only understand the impact of this video once you've actually got to the project. Have I stuck with what I wanted to do? How long has it taken me to do it? Um, and does planning actually help? I'm sure it helps because if I didn't have this plan here today, I probably wouldn't be doing that today. I'd probably be doing something else. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I look forward to sharing the mixtape with you. I look forward to sharing the progress. Um, and to be fair, I'm just going to crack on and get on with it. So take care of yourselves and I will see you for the next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, and invite any music heads that who are trying to learn to the, the channel um, to leave comments. Yourselves as well, leave comments. Let me know what you want to hear. But I'll see you guys very soon. Much love.